afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Wish is, is that you all have a absolutely spectacular best Thanksgiving you've ever had in the history of your lives. Today we're going to do a kind of a, a visual meditation. We all visualize anyway, but this is a, everybody go to a place, and you're probably there already, where you can relax the body, breath through the nose and through the mouth, out in the nose, out the mouth, and listen through the heart-mind. Picture a massive table. It's actually infinity, but you can see everyone. So no matter if they're light years away on this, at this table, you can still see them. You can still interact with them. And this is a, a table of deep gratitude, deep eternal gratitude, thankfulness. And we invite all of the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all of the ascended masters, Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia, St. Germain, Sanat, uh, uh, Christ, El Moria, Abundantia, Pell, Thoth, Yahweh, Yeshua, all of them coming to the table. All of the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, Agartha, and beneath earth. All of our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. All the off-worlders, the galactics, the celestials. All the light energy beings. And all of us gathered actually as one, no matter what physical vessel we inhabit across the expanse, across existence, we're still one. We're always one. We always have been, always will be. And conscious, consciously aware. We bring with us, as the gods we are in these bodies, parts of us that are not conscious. We love them all the same. And they all make their determination on when they decide to awaken. To all the light energy beings on in above and below this planet. Even the ones we don't see with the eyes we have with these bodies. The ones that we do interact with on a regular basis, the fairies and sprites, the elves and gnomes and dwarves and trees and trolls, the elementals, earth, air, water, fire, ether, wood, the mermaid, the dolphin, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, centaur, minotaur, all at this table. It's the grandest table that you would ever, you could ever possibly imagine. The centerpieces, the dishware, the plates, silverware, whatever, all alive, all vibrating, glowing, golden white light. And this is in the Googaplexes. So you're, you're talking, one Googaplex fills this entire universe with not even a square inch of sacred space to spare. So you're looking at gugaplexes from all the universes, all the existences, consciously aware that we are of the highest of the highest high, deepest of the deepest deepest, and the purest of the purest purest eternal love. Gratitude. Peace. Gratitude is filling this table all of us. Now, we could be in our God form or our physical form, the God within the physical form, just what, how we choose. And this vibrational frequency of gratitude is 24-7. It is forever. It never ends. It's not something just for this day that we are in gratitude, but always. For all of the people on this planet, for all those who are without dwellings, uh, homeless, all those who are in pain and suffering, all of our brothers and sisters, in deep gratitude for all of them, and deep eternal love and peace. 
This is more than a, than a feast of food. It is an existence of deep, eternal, loving energy. We all are this deep, eternal, loving energy within these bodies. We are all immortal. And imagine how it would be if every one of us were to come to the realization that we are endless and to stay in a deep gratitude endlessly. This is so imperative for our transition on this planet the new earth. It is absolutely imperative for all of us to choose deep gratitude. Now we have deep gratitude for our hands. We use them a lot. The hands take a really beating. We have gratitude for our skin, our hair, if we have hair, and even when we don't have hair. But gratitude for everything, and not through the ego mind. We do it through the heart mind, the gratitude of the gods that we are, the gratitude that, we, that these bodies breathe so that we can stay in them to experience physical life. Gratitude for every limb on our bodies or gratitude for the limbs we don't have in our body. This is across the board. You can feel the frequency of all of us gathered here. It, it's not a barrage. It is a definite energy from the one God. So we are in gratitude with the gods that we are and the collective consciousness, the pure consciousness of the one God, which we all make up. Picture it, it moving through this life that you're in. And always in the deepest of the deepest, deepest eternal gratitude. It's like this day that we have in our country. Thanks. Thanks and giving. Being thankful and giving. And this is the higher frequency that we talk about that's transitioning this planet. It doesn't matter what you see. It matters what you feel with the God that you are. And all of us gathered, every one of us, are one. The, the archangels, they inhabit a physical form. They're God's still. But the God within them is no different than the God within us. We visualize a day that will come upon this planet where all of us will celebrate all of us. There will be no separation. The illusion will be gone. Every single step we take on this planet will be a celebration because we will have awakened to the understanding once again that we are the God. We are the God source. We are the eternal presence of deep eternal love. And sometimes, you know, it gets a little, it, it is difficult for some of us because we embrace this physical life so much that we get distracted in the material physical world and that we don't, we kind of forget to be in deep gratitude. You know, we get angry with ourselves, which is love under pressure. And, you know, why should I be grateful for the life I have? I, you know, they, people say they don't have a great life, that things are just a mess all the time and, you know, they, they don't have any food to eat. And they, you think about this now. We literally create that for ourselves. And then they get even more angry when you talk with them about that. Okay. But it's, it's finally to make peace with oneself and to move within and stay within. There you are in deep gratitude, peace, and love. And you can allow that to flow all the time. Like this moment, in this, in this day, in this thanks and giving. We are in different, different perspectives. The vibrational frequencies are higher. 
a lot of people, not everybody, but the majority are thankful in this country. And, you know, it's funny because we, in, in this, this continent, uh, in America's, you know, we, Thanksgiving was born with the pilgrims and the Indians. And a lot of the food we eat today has nothing to do with the food they ate then. There's a whole different ballgame. But it was a gratitude of coming together, brothers and sisters, American Indians, pilgrims from different parts of the world. And wouldn't it be great that the entire planet celebrated a thanks and giving day? Kind of like, uh, like a metamorphosis of our thanksgiving for the rest of the brothers and sisters on the planet. Where everybody all over the planet one day gave deep eternal gratitude and thankfulness for being. For being. That's it. Deep eternal gratitude and thankfulness for being. Every morning when you wake up, make it a habit. And you'd be amazed how things have transformed. You make it a habit before you open your eyes, before you really stir, and you're just lying there. You're kind of awake, but not, not totally yet. And you put both of your hands over your heart, and from the heart mind, you just say, thank you, thank you, thank you for this day. Those vib- that vibrational frequency that you give out shifts your whole day. It does. It literally does. It shifts your whole day. And I'm not talking about lower frequency. I'm talking about higher frequency. It's the first thing you do. The first thing you do when you begin to stir every morning. And those words, thank you, thank you, thank you, the vibrational frequency of words are very powerful. And to be thankful and grateful for being, for all of us to be here in this now, as our great country transitions, and as the rest of the planet will follow our lead. Ask yourself, how does it feel to be in deep gratitude and thankfulness? How does it feel? Do you ever ask yourself that? And you say, you know, how do you feel, Jim? How do you feel, Alice? I feel great. When, excuse me, when we're in gratitude for everything, gratitude for everything, not, not, not particularly real easy, but when we begin to practice it, we become more and more adjusted to it, and then we start to understand that this is our natural state of being. And it's not so much, you know, being grateful for someone yelling at you or being grateful for, uh, you know, someone beeping their horn at you or scratching your car or whatever. The gratefulness that we share with ourselves and each other is just, it's being happy to be in body. It's, it's a joyous uh, experience to be in body. You know, as the gods we are, as I say in, in, in all the meditations, is that what would it be like, can you imagine that we're all out of body and we're all trying to figure out how to make a turkey sandwich and none of us can remember, right? Isn't that that something? Because our memories are fleeting of these lives. And so when we get out of the body, we have a residual, but it doesn't last long. So our, our, because, oh, see, when you're out of the body, there is no time. There's zero time. Time is in physical form. There's no such thing as time 
and pure consciousness because pure consciousness is beyond time. And that's what the God is, is within each and every one of us, pure consciousness. So this is how we're connected infinitely, eternally with each other as the gods that we are. So manifesting and creating a global thank, thanks giving where the entire population celebrates this every day, every day giving thanks, being in, in gratitude. And this is where we are, the God. The God is in deep gratitude all the time, eternally, never ending, never ends. Doesn't it make sense that here we are gathered at this energetic table that is infinite, even though we're light years apart, as far as it seems, physicality-wise, we're at the table. All of the gods are at the table. All that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever are at the table. All the life that's housed in, in different forms are at the table. The thanks and giving table. And our gratitude is far-reaching. On all the, not just this planet, not just this solar system, but all planetary systems throughout existence, all solar systems and galaxies, the metaverses, all the connecting universes, all of it at one big table. And we're interacting with each other because we're part of each other. And then we begin to realize that there's no separation, that we've always been a part of each other, that we can always communicate with one another as the gods that we are. It's a never-ending association and a blending of the God force love light energy. We don't have a loneliness. We are not lonely. We are infinitely together. And sometimes on this planet, we are alone because we choose to be alone, and that is a wonderful thing. But when you can look at yourself, others, from the perspective of deep eternal gratitude, peace, thankfulness, love, you get a really good feeling. It's the God smiling within each and every one of us. And to slowly but surely move into this permanently where there's actually no holidays every day is a holiday holiday is meant for celebrating celebrating what celebrating the gods that we are and celebrating the bodies that have been provided for us so that we can experience this physical life and many others isn't it as the archangels deliver to us on a continual basis isn't it absolutely magna glorious to really truly be alive in these bodies, to be alive, to taste, to touch, to feel, to experience all of these things in the body? It's just, it's magnificent. And it's like when you when you get frustrated or you get irritated or you get hurried, right? Hurried. You're under a time schedule or something. And usually around this time of year, everybody's got, you know, they got to do things in there. They got to hurry and got to get this done and that done. Stop! Stop every so often. And and communicate with yourself on how grateful you are for the very moment you're in. How thankful you are to be in that body. And you can do it throughout the course of the day and night where you just stop a moment and communicate with yourself on how deeply grateful you are for that very moment you're in. And doing this from the heart-mind is very, very emotional sometimes. 
And these bodies are very emotional, so that's pretty much understood. And then the euphoric feeling comes in. And you, you, you feel good. You feel good all over, head to toe. You look around you, you know, and it's not always, you know, we don't always see eye to eye with relatives and loved ones and so on and so forth. But to relax oneself and to move into the now and to stay in the now and to be focused on the breath. You can do this when you're socializing. You can do this interacting with people. You can do it all day long. But it's focusing on the now, the moment, the breath. Nothing else. Not tomorrow. Not later tonight. Not next week. Not next year. But now. Imagine that, being, being in deep gratitude and thankfulness that you are grateful for this very moment of being in the now. You leave the ego mind alone. You don't part, you don't interact with them. And all of the mind chatter and all any stress and anxieties, whatever you're experiencing, disintegrate. They disappear. And that we don't have the mind chatter. And we're just floating along. Floating down the river. Downstream thinking. We don't have a care in the world. We don't take this life, we don't take this life seriously. We know, we begin to understand that this is entertainment that we've created for ourselves. This is when you move directly in touch with the God that you are. Now, all of us at this table, this golden shimmering table, golden white shimmering table, that's where we are in the moment and the now. You can feel them all. They're parts of you. They're parts of all of us, and we them. But you can feel them almost like a bliss building in the heart. Starting to surface and ascend and starting to bathe you head to toe inside now. This feeling is indescribable. It is magnificent, magna-glorious, and we move ourselves into pure bliss. We don't have a care or worry. Why would we? The beings within these bodies are immortal. They're endless. So why would we be deeply serious and conflicted about life? when we know we created the life that we're currently living, experiencing right now. So it's like, okay, so I choose to have this kind of life. This is the life that I choose to experience. Then manifest it. Pretty simple. It really is simple. When you're in that state, that's when you send your intention out. That's when you say to the universe, universe, this is, and, and you're very detailed about the life that you desire to live. Not only that, you're in deep gratitude for the very life that you're experiencing right now. You see how it works? You're never not in gratitude. You're never not in thankfulness. Now, the ego mind, of course, has a tendency to try to get us off track with that. Well, we're pretty good at that, knowing that when the ego mind tries to do that, and we focus on the breath, and we're in the now. So this intergalactic, cosmic, deep conscious, pure consciousness of all the gods assembled, and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever, all in the deepest of eternal gratitude, peace, and love, and thankfulness, and bliss, and joy. Feel it. Just allow it to just absorb, pass through you, around you, above you, below you. This is a golden, white, most brilliant, colorful, 
energy that you've ever experienced. And the colors are nothing like you've ever seen. You feel warm. Your God feels warm. Is warm, right? And the body as well. This isn't a this isn't a, a hot warm. It is a love energy emanating from all of us as the gods that we are, because this is what we're made of anyway. And then we realize that we are one. We are one on this day, on every day. We've always been one. We always will be one. And to begin thinking this way through the heart-mind and guiding the mind to direct that more and more of us start embracing this understanding that we are the one. And we can move and change anything we desire as the one. We can shift this entire civilization in a matter of seconds. We can eliminate all the lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies in a matter of seconds. It's like a blink and it's done. It's changed. And everything that happens happens through us, not to us. Everything happens through us, not to us. So in the quiet visualization of this meditation, interact with other parts of the God that you are. All the gods assembled at this table, this galactic table, this cosmic energy table, where we are all consciously aware of who and what we are and we are all communicating with one another and knowing that we're all one. You're going to be amazed on what you experience. I'll join you in the meditation, and I'll return to close this out.
take an easy breath in through the nose, an easy breath out through the mouth. Move easily and slowly. See if you can stay for the rest of this weekend of the weekend in deep gratitude. Visualize the table because the table never is gone. It's always there. You can commune with other parts of yourself whenever you wish. This is an unprecedented gathering throughout the universes to acknowledge that you're part of the one deeply within the heart mind and that you are in deep gratitude and thankfulness because we are all pure eternal love. So enjoy this Thanksgiving. Thanks and giving. And I wish you all deep eternal love from the God that I am to the God that you are. And we will return here Friday, November 26th, 2021 at 3 p.m. Eastern to continue our global guided meditation call and at 9 p.m. Eastern to continue our reverse aging health call.